He was the most famous producer of all time. George Martin has died. He was 90. Would the Beatles have been as big without Martin? Some would say probably not. In 1962, he signed the band after many had turned them down. Decca Records' first letter to the boys read, The Beatles have no future in pop music. In a 2011 BBC interview, Martin said about the Beatles, They had this wonderful charisma. They make you feel good to be around them. But I thought their music was rubbish. Back then, Martin was more curious than convinced on their musical abilities. But let's just say he was on the right track. You can also thank Martin for Ringo Starr. Sort of. He was convinced their drummer Pete Best didn't have the chops to be in the band, so they switched to Ringo. But then when time came to record their first single, Love Me Do, Martin was also not impressed with Ringo. So in came session player Andy White. It's safe to say Ringo and his producer made up. By the way, Ringo does appear on that song, on tambourine and maracas. It was Martin who suggested that the band speed up the tempo of their next single, Please Please Me, which was originally a ballad. As a classically trained composer, he also convinced Paul McCartney to put a string quartet in the song Yesterday. He was a producer who certainly changed the direction of many Beatles songs and stretched the known boundaries of sound recording. Just listen to the Beatles' Sgt. Pepper's Lonely Hearts Club Band or Abbey Road. They stand up to anything today. He started his career with a Parlophone label. He produced classical music, regional folk, and comedy records where he had success with Peter Sellers, Peter Cook, and Spike Milligan. McCartney paid tribute by saying he was a true gentleman and a real second father to me. He became a true friend and my family. If anyone earned the title Fifth Beatle, it was George. Martin produced 30 number one singles in the UK and 23 in the US. He worked with Jerry and the Pacemakers, Elton John, Celine Dion, Kenny Rogers, Jeff Beck, Neil Sedaka, and America, among many others. Feel free to comment on our videos and subscribe to our channel. We'll also check out your videos. I'm John Bowden from Rock History Music.